In this video, I'm talking all about the difference between queue and export right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get right into the video. So once you've finished editing a video project, it comes to the export phase. And this is the part of the process where you turn your project file into an actual video file. But there's two different options when you go to export your video. Let me show you what I mean. So once you finish your project and you want to export your video, you're going to go up into file, export, media. Now that's pretty standard. And then in the export window tab, we have all of these different settings. So we've got our formats here. We typically go into select H.264. We've got our presets. We can put our output name and destination here. We can choose if we want to export video and audio or isolate each channel. And then down here, we've got all of our basic video settings, but we're not talking about that today. We're talking about these two buttons at the bottom and that is Q and export. What's the difference? Well, export is going to be able to quickly export your video from Premiere into a video file. So as you can see, I've pressed the export button and that's taking roughly one minute to export that one video, which is fine. You're typically going to press the export button for most of your projects, but that makes you think, what's the point of the Q button if the export button is exporting? Why do we need the Q button? Well, the Q button also exports, but it basically cues the video to export in a queue. So we'll press the Q button and that's going to launch Adobe Media Encoder. And Adobe Media Encoder is another program in the Adobe suite, but Encoder is there to help you process batch editing. So let's say you're exporting multiple videos. Let's say you're exporting 10 videos rather than exporting each video individually by pressing the export button, waiting for it to export, going back, adjusting the settings, pressing the export button. It just means you're going to be going back and forth your computer. It's going to be really time consuming for you. And it's just very pointless. So as you can see, we're inside of Adobe Media Encoder right now, and we've got three projects queued up ready to export. So as I said before, in Premiere, I would have to go through each project, go through all the settings, export, wait for it to export, and then go to the second video and keep doing this process over and over again. But with Encoder, I just press the play button. And as you can see, Encoder is just going to go through the process of exporting that clip and as soon as it's done with clip one, it's going to move on to clip two, clip three, clip four. It's going to do all of the videos that I need to export. And it's just going to make batch exporting so much easier. So in short, the difference between exports and queue is export is great for one off video exports, but queue is great for batch exporting. If you need to export any more than one video at a time, you want to queue it to Adobe Media Encoder. But if you just got the one project, just send it to export. There's literally no difference between export and queue when it comes to settings. You get all of the settings. You can send your video wherever you like to with queue and export. But the difference is export is single, queue is multiple. And there you go. I know this was a lengthy video for something so simple, but I promise you knowing the difference between export and queue is going to help you save a lot of time when it comes to exporting multiple projects. So. If you found this video useful at all, then please do let me know in that comment section below and I will see you on the next video. See you there.